On October 29, 2025, 3i Atlas reached perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, just 1.36 astronomical units away. Here, it faced a trial by fire. Intense solar radiation, tidal forces, and the risk of fragmentation. Would it survive or shatter into a cloud of debris? Astronomers held their breath, watching as telescopes on Earth, in orbit, and even on Mars tracked every moment. The comet's activity surged. Jets of gas erupted from its surface, driving non-gravitational acceleration and a dramatic brightening. Its color shifted, its tail morphed, sometimes pointing away from the sun, sometimes toward it, in a rare anti-tail reversal. Spacecraft like ESA's Mars Express and JUICE, NASA's Parker Solar Probe, and the James Webb Space Telescope captured images and spectra, revealing the comet's evolving chemistry in real time. The fate of 3i Atlas hung in the balance. Would it survive the sun's tidal forces or be torn apart like so many sun-grazing comets before it? Models of tidal fragmentation suggest that comets with sufficient internal cohesion can endure even as they lose mass, shed jets, and fragment at the surface. For 3i Atlas, the outcome was dramatic, but not catastrophic. It lost a significant fraction of its mass, perhaps a tenth or more, but its nucleus remained intact. Fragments and dust trailed in its wake, a testament to the violence of its solar encounter. As it rounded the sun and emerged from conjunction, it began its long journey back into interstellar space. By December 19, 2025, 3i Atlas made its closest approach to Earth, still a distant 1.8 astronomical units away. It was visible only to large telescopes, a faint fading patch of light against the starry backdrop. By March 2026, it would pass Jupiter, and by June, it would vanish.